everybody. I'm James Savalski for EA Sports. Always a special night being back here in Montreal. The banners, the magic, the ghosts, it's all here. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Canadians take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Slavkovsky's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Here's a chance! And that's deflected off someone in front. Caulfield's across the line now and on the attack in the offense again. Samsonov's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Montreal's won the draw. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. The Leafs win the defensive zone faceoff. Slides the puck to Marner. Tried to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. Quick pass to Cooley. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. The Leafs have it now. Into the corner now. And he takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck over. They are really buzzing here on the offensive end. Montreal's in on the offensive attack now. Fantastic save. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter. And wins the arm. The Canadians bring another one off the Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. The Canadians strike first here in the opening frame. A relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So it's a nice way to start the game. Fires it on that. Score! And Tyler Bertuzzi doing the Watuzzi as he tucks it in and lights the lamp. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Montreal's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Fires it! Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Samsonov! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it up to Armia. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Brody's lugging the puck. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Here we go, puck's in deep. Moves the puck over to Wap. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Was close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Slides it to Anderson. They go on the attack from the left side. Takes a shot. Can't get it to go. Rips it. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Domi. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. In the final moments of this period, it's all tied up. Toronto's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. 
Here's a chance. A blast. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. The Leafs get a hold of the puck. Toronto's got it on the line. And now it's grabbed by Harris. And he takes the feed. Shot that's tipped. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Well, let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. We got a whistle, penalty coming up. The Leafs are off to the box, interference the call. takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Here's the Sets a power play goal and puts them in front. Well, that's perfect execution. You have that player advantage. You gotta use it. They did it. Now they're ahead. We'll take hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. Montreal's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Sends it in front, and that's stopped. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Lots of time left in this period. The Canadians are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. The Leafs win the faceoff. Shuts them down. Scoops up the puck. Oh, and another big stop. Had a great job of tracking the puck, not one, but two consecutive saves. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Montreal's got it in the ring zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Poked away. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Slavkovsky. Takes the puck at the point. Oh, what a James, I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Montreal's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Canadians win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Not even close! And he works so hard to get to the middle of the ice and to get that scoring chance, and he just blows it wide. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Canadians have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Toronto's got the puck. Samsonov's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he is out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And now it's over to Nylander. A side Well, this is just a fantastic play. I mean, he's known for having great hands, James, but he manipulates his opponent. He opens up a lane and makes that beautiful pass, which leads to the goal. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Cooley. Oh, and they can't 
can't keep the puck in the zone, they'll be forced to tag up. The play is thrown dead with the offside. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Canadians get a hold of the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack. Blocker saved by Samsonov. Turns another aside. Picks off the feed. Up along the wing. Puck battle along the boards. Looking to set up offensively. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. And he comes up with it. Puck grabbed by White. Here's the shot. And that goes off course off a of body. They put the puck into the offensive end. And the puck's not loose. Great pressure with the stick. Down the left wing. They gain the zone. Turns it aside with the glove. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Leafs start with the puck in the road end. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. And now he moves it quickly to Matthews. The Leafs move it ahead. Here's big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Don't miss a chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Well, time to find out who wants this one more as we are underway in the third. The Leafs gain the zone. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. Great save. Ned is knocked off. We'll get a face off here. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Toronto's won the draw in the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Labushkin. Moves the puck. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Denies him! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, spread of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. More than half the period left to play. We got a tie game. And they'll start with possession. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Canadians cross the blue line and are on the attack. Denies him on the play. Slick feed. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Montembeau. And the puck's booted away. Moves it over to Wah. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Taken by Armia. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. And they keep the pressure on. And he slides it quickly to Savard. Kicked away. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Well, the coach is going to like this goal. It's all about the effort and habits, not turning away from the net after the original shot, James, but continuing to track it and able to deposit in the net. 
Montreal's taken a one-goal lead here in period number three. Well, yeah, and it's a critical time here, James. They've got the go-ahead goal now. And some of the teams will say, play safe. Not me. I'm about having the puck. Stay aggressive. Stay on your toes. Make them play on their heels. Lundgren's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Great reach with the poke check by Shekhov. From one point man to another. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older. And this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. And he takes the pass. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Canadians have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Evans wins the draw at center. Into the offensive zone. Centering pass. What a chance, but they can't connect. From off the wall and onto a stick. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Puck picked up by Shekai. Montreal's got it along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Dished on over to Brody. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Here's a shot. Does it again with the stop. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Montreal's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Caulfield. He grabs the puck here at the point. Trailing in this one, they have put into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well, as it's a real insurance marker. You, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. You can see the emotion on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. The Canadians' persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Cheryl. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker. James, they've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off. Quick shot! There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Montreal's win tonight, Cheryl. Kind of elementary, thanks to special teams. The power play is everything in these games, and they create mm -hmm. momentum, and they also create a ton of opportunity. And it was their execution, the ability to move the puck, and have that precise accuracy that did it for them tonight. And the party's not over just yet, Pounder. Look at them here. They come back out onto the ice. You gotta love it. Just a fun night all the way around, and they've stuck around, and they stick around, and so does their team. They come back out on the ice to say thank you and salute them. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.